Have you ever heard the saying, the things we do for love? I love the Red River Gorge. The problem is that I'm 10 hours away from it in Rochester, New York on a work trip. And if I start driving now, I'll have a day and a half of climbing if I'm lucky. Any normal person wouldn't do it. But I am not a normal person. I'm a girl in love. We've got 33 minutes to McGill's. And man, I'm about to go into a gas station and do something that I haven't done in a very long time. It's not the taste. Yes. Yes. The plan actually is our friends are staying at an Airbnb and apparently there is some private climbing. I haven't been back in a year and a half. There she is in all of her glory. In all of her shining glory. Miguel's freaking pizza. Your destination is on the left. Hell yeah it is, buddy! How's it going? Hi. How are you guys? Peter, tell me what we're doing. Night climbing. Right behind the cabin. Oh yeah. Right up there. Oh, look out, look out. You all right? We're all good. That was cool. Yeah, that's some, that's definitely some of the things that girls have climbed on in a minute, but like, it's kind of fun. So bumpy. Currently following the book instructions, not Google Map instructions. We'll see if we get to the right place. giant snake. Where did he just come from? We started on the right side of crossroads with a couple of 5.8s right next to each other called boilerplate and spoiler bait. These routes might feel familiar to you if you've been watching the channel for a while, as well as a 510c dihedral called Van Halero, with a tricky crux move reaching for a jug to pull yourself around and onto the opposite face. Just to the right of Ben Halero was a very cruisy tall 5'8 called Diz Nuts. I'd forgotten how the rock at the red is so pockety. You can't really see that it's raining. How'd you feel about Crossroads? I feel like we barely touched the surface of Crossroads. Like, we've done three routes and it takes 15 minutes to walk from end to end, so... Yeah. There must be so much more here. So I didn't film it because I was trying to speed run it, but I just went up Banjalero. Banjal hair. Banjalero. Then it started pouring rain and the climb was dry the whole entire time, but now it is very, very damp outside. <laughs> it wouldn't be the red if it didn't rain. First lead climbing trip in, or like first time lead climbing in over five months. Yeah. How do you feel? How uh, do I feel pretty good. I was definitely rusty, but uh, I, I sent it. And you haven't seen him most of the day because Dan was just taking a nap in a hammock. It was a fantastic nap. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can hear, there's thunder, there's rain, 
and we're gonna go see if solar collectors dry. Wish us luck. We found a turtle. Hi, buddy. You know, it's funny how places can hold such sentimental memories, and how that when you go back to them, you, you see that gap between where you were at in the time that you had those memories and where you're at now. And I don't know, being back at the Red, it feels very special. Uh, I feel like a whole different person. And that feels really cool to be able to f explore like whatever this new relationship and this new part of my life is with the places that I've been. Yeah. They found a 5.9 that's a slab down on the left side of the crag. But I actually want to take you to go see the cave that's supposed to be really cool. It's supposed to have like 513 and then project climbs. So I'm going to go see if I can find that. So this is really cool. There's three trout routes here. One goes up the left side. One goes up the right side. And then there's this dihedral feature right here. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, this wall is massive. So one of the routes in this cave is called Goldilocks. It's a 514 that Michaela Hirsch put up. She FA'd it in 2017. And then in 2022, Alex Migos climbed it and said that he thinks it's more like 14 BC. But at any rate, like, wow, <laughs> it's just insane. Heading back towards the group, I caught Colin climbing up the 5'9 slab called Norway on my mind, which has a very crucial foothold on the left side of the Hueco that I danced around for a solid 10 minutes trying to find when it was my turn on the route. So Peter is going to climb this route that goes up behind this tree. That one right there. It's crack. I love me some 5-5 five -five trad climbing. Peter wasn't the only one trad climbing, as Dan was working on a line called Broken Chicken Wing, a 5-9 plus, the last line of the day before the group headed home and Jed and I were left to our lonesome. Today we are going to the newly established Ash Branch climbing area right next to Mirror Valley. I'm excited to check out these new routes and a huge thank you to the people that developed it. We really appreciate it. First impressions of Ash Branch climbing, at least the first area that you come to when you walk in. Fantastic area to take newer climbers. There's even some routes that have permas, which is super cool. There's like six, seven routes that are all under 510C. In my opinion, I think the 5.9s are actually harder than some of the 510s, but fantastic day out. I said it at the beginning of this video, but going back to the Red River Gorge was really special for me. I hadn't been back in a year and a half and just getting back there again, I guess if there's any message to take away from this, it's like, just do the things that you wanna do. If you really want something, make it happen. Like figure out a way, like drive the 10 hours. It's usually worth it. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay hyped.